Hello YouTube and today today I got something really special for you guys to check out this is a premium of premium die cast some YM models and some CM models and some I don't even know who makes models but some really premium 164th die cast and a brand new Bugatti Veyron or Chiron or whatever it is pretty awesome GTR so make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick through to the end to check all these out uh, picked up this green light it's a 2013 Dodge Dart number 36 but I thought it looked pretty good. Got lens tail lights and lens tail lights. I don't think this was a Black Bandit release. It doesn't say it on the license plate or on the side anywhere. I don't see a BB. Oh, yep, right there. It's a Black Bandit release. There's a BB. Very, very well done, though. Very well done. Like how they just kind of hit it. Almost looks like a factory decal. So you got lens headlights and tail lights, both with painted detail. Lens headlights look like the painted details on the underside, and the tail lights it's on top of. So the first one we'll check out is a Time Micro 164th Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. Now most of these I've had in the collection. I did just pick up the Bugatti and the LBWK Liberty Walk GTR And this is die cast metal. And this is from Time Micro. But I had to have it for the die cast collection because it was in the Monster Racing en Energy, which I don't even drink energy drinks, but I like the flat black of the Monster Energy. I like the green logo, so I don't think I've ever drank a monster in my life. I don't even know what it tastes like, but very, very detailed, though. Does not roll, but it wants to. It has one back wheel. This back wheel hangs up a little bit. Besides that, it would roll. The other side wants to roll. Oh, it rolls. You don't roll on a hard surface. So that's a step up from NO64 and Tarmac Works. Another, or not Tarmac Works. I think Tarmac Works roll most of the time. Uh, there are uh, brands that are static display, though, that do not roll. 
awesome. Such a well done car. Do you get a metal base screwed together? Let's open up the GTR Monster Energy. I have shown all these on previous videos. But it's been a long time. And this is die cast metal. But Time Micro, they don't make a whole lot. Uh, even what they do make, they don't release a whole lot of. I just thought these ones don't say, but some of them do say what they're limited to. A lot of them are limited to like 600 or 900 pieces. So a lot of times they're limited to under 1,000 pieces. So they are expensive, but it does want to, they kind of want to roll. Kind of static display. Look at the base, it's screwed together. Good detail on the base, so definitely a different base than like a Mini GT. The mirrors are hard plastic, they're not a soft plastic like Mini GT. Two really, really awesome Monster Energy racing livery that's slow. Something that's hard to find in 164th. Next, we'll check out a CM model. Ferrari LP4888 GTB. Just had to pick up this Ferrari when I seen when it came out. It's just so well done. I don't know what it is with this Ferrari, but it was just so well done. It was really appealing to me. I had to have it for the diecast collection. But the red interior the engine detail Liberty Walk the wide body kit I mean, this thing just looks freaking amazing so well done the rear rear tail lights are lensed and hollow, just like on the real car. Just a crazy amount of detail they put into these. Crystal clear windshields, windows, and glass. Crystal clear. Look at that green light. Would you just look at that green light? Really well done car though. Then I got one from YM Model. And it's a Ken Block Ho Hoonigan. The Hoonicorn. The 1965 Ford Mustang. This is based on a real car, Ken Block's real car. I like to get the other variation of this one too. Uh, they're getting harder and harder to find. 
This is number 281 out of 1,000. So, and there's another one they made of it that's, uh, I don't think it's YM Models. It's something else, and it's uh, limited to 688. But, absolutely love Ken Block and a huge, huge Ken Block fan. This is die cast metal. This is not a resin model. And it wants to roll. The back tires roll real good on it. Front tires are do not, so it's a static. Look at the Hoonicorn I'm mounted here. This was something I picked up when it first came out. I might have pre-ordered it, but i uh, been a huge Ken Block fan for years and years and years. So I had to have it. All right here, it's like a, it feels like a real carbon fiber base. Like they really put a piece of carbon fiber on there. It's not appear to be fake. And then right there, it's number 281 out of 1,000 from YM Models. And this is a version 2. So there's a version 1 that's naturally aspirated. But Ken Block, in real life, he redid this car right after he did it because it was naturally aspirated with... Uh, eight carburetors each each one had it had its own carburetor and uh he said it was just too torquey at up high end and stuff so uh a dual turbo version uh he could handle better he said it was just too hard to control the naturally aspirated one so he went with dual turbos and redid it you get the little teeny tiny antenna. That thing is like definitely to scale, that antenna. And the detail. Now this is a resin model. So this is a YM model. I don't know if all YM models are resin models, but this one is. Definitely have to pick up the truck have to get the Ken Block truck. Uh, it sold out in pre-orders, which I should have picked one up in pre-order, but uh, it was during COVID. Really risky doing a pre-order during COVID because it takes so long to get it. Uh, so it's very lightweight, screwed together. Very, very plain base. Very well done. The next one is probably the star of the show for everybody. It's going to be the Time Micro. Those were Time Model, which is an awesome company that did them. And this is a Time Micro, which is another good company. And this looks like a Bugatti Devo. And it says Barago on it too. So uh, Barago, I'm pretty sure they make larger die cast cars. that are larger than 164th. So I did pre-order this right after I received it I see they got another one that's out now that you can pre-order. I 
And sometimes stuff like this sells out in pre-order. Like they only make a thousand of these or 688 of something. Uh, a lot of times they'll sell out in pre-order. So you'll never get a chance to pick them up if you don't buy it in pre-order. card and don't say nothing else on it and it is die cast metal I was you never know with these if they're gonna be a resin model or die cast metal and the seller doesn't always advertise when they're resin models and this has soft mirrors like a mini GT. So that's interesting. Which I prefer the soft mirrors like mini GT. I think they're less likely to break off or to bend. They they always look good and straight. I never had a problem with them not being molded right where they didn't look right. Uh, as I say that, It's hard to tell. Yeah, they are lensed. It's real hard to tell, but they are lensed. Headlights. I like the blue line around the tire. Passenger seat looks different than the driver's seat. It doesn't look blue. Driver's seat's blue. The whole driver's interior side is blue. Let's look at the passenger side. It's not blue. Is there even a seat in there? Is it a one-seater? I don't think there's a seat in the passenger side. Yeah, there is. I can see the head support. So it's a black seat. I wonder if because the center console is blue on this side, they did it blue on this side. Center console is black on this side. So it, it might be like that in real life. Is this car like that in real life? If anybody knows, comment down below. That is interesting. That is weird. Gives it a completely different look. Like you notice when you look at it. And see the interior is half blue and half black. So I think I like the... Like the Bugatti Veyron and Chiron. How it has a huge air intake on the side. I think that's real iconic for Bugatti. I mean, I they definitely tried changing it up with this casting or this uh, car, I guess. But got a big air intake down at the bottom side of the car. I did watch Doug DeMiro do his car review on this thing. Watch all his videos on like the Bugattis and stuff. You can see he has a carbon fiber fin. You can see the engine underneath. Don't know if that's a V or a W16 in there or not. Happy to have it for the diecast collection though. Then the next one we'll look at will be this Liberty 
or LB performance. And this is uh just says that Liberty works. LB performance. Don't say like a CM model or anything like that. Had to have it because it was burgundy. I picked this up a few years ago. But I probably only showed it once on video a couple years ago when I picked it up. So we'll show it again. Very well done model. Screwed together. Fill up screws. To me it ain't no different than the mini GTs besides they don't roll. They're static displays. Or at least the mini GTs all roll. I mean, it don't seem like it would take much work to make them roll. But they slam them so low to the ground. All they would have to do is just raise it up a hair. Just a slight hair. And they would roll. But I mean, I get the look they're going for, the slam look, the tuck tire look, a lot, of, a lot of exotics like this, when they slam them to the ground, they tuck that top edge of the tire, which I have no idea how the tire doesn't rub the inside of the fender and uh, blow out. I mean, there's no clearance. You see videos, people can't even fit their fingers in between there. But they drive them like that. Such a beautiful paint job on this car, though. So, I had to pick this one up. I mean, this one, I did not get out the Hot Wheels. Did not want to embarrass the Hot Wheels. But this thing is... LB works. This is 303 out of 599 pieces. So there was only 600 of these made. Which is more limited than uh, a lot of M2 chases and stuff. Oh, this one is die cast metal. I think. Yes, it definitely is die cast metal. So I think we only had one resin model so far, which was the Ken Block. Which I think is somebody who just 3D printing them and making them that. Uh, who made that? YM models. Man, I cannot get this thing out. Definitely being the most stubborn one out of all of them. Oh, that's why. Box is folded in. That's why it's fighting me the whole way. There we go. 
Definitely feels like somebody printed and made this box. Very interesting. There's information on the bottom. 14 years and older. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. Holy cow. That paint on it. Such a shiny black. If I touched it, I'd definitely leave a finger mark. And I think it's a resin model. It's really light. But man, look at that black paint on top. You see my reflection in it. And it's a darker green in, in person. On camera, it's really coming out. Darker than what it really is. But holy cow. rims and detail uh, I'm pretty sure this is based on a real car the Tanner Fox car if you put the Hot Wheels next to this you know this would smoke the Hot Wheels but did not even get the Hot Wheels out But holy cow. I just love the green and the black. I mean, I don't know shit about Tanner Fox. Besides, he's a YouTuber and he's a teenager. But nice Advan tires. Lens headlights and tail lights and just... Now, this one's right-hand drive, so... I guarantee Tanner Fox's wasn't right-hand drive, seeing how he's an American kid. Maybe this ain't the Tanner Fox's. Maybe this is based on a different one. Maybe Tanner Fox ripped his off from a, somebody else. Who knows? Absolutely amazing, though. And the last one, just because I picked it up, couple months ago and it's been sitting there and I haven't showed shown it in a video I got a Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR this is a 50th anniversary and this is a Kyosho I almost like to say it's from the beads or something that's why it's uh The Beats Collection. That's why it's in a box. But I don't want to see any of that. You can pause on it. so hard to get these acrylic cases apart sometimes. Of course, this does roll. Nice recessed rims. Metal on plastic. 
with real riders, lensed headlights and tail lights. Very, very factory look. Love the rubber tire well that they only put on the back side. Doesn't have one on the front. Almost like a slight stance issue with this. I have never saw a Kyosho with a stance issue. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. Well, this video was definitely longer than I thought, but some absolutely amazing cars. Let me know which one was your favorite. Mine's always going to be the Hoonicorn, which is also in the Monster Energy. This one, absolutely love the look of it. So definitely comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Let me know what you guys like to collect. Thought I'd show you some different brands today, tonight. I'm always showing green light and hot wheels and auto rolled and mini GT. Well, there's a lot of different 164th brands out there. This is a look at some of them for you. A few that I have in my collection. I have a couple drawers of goodness here. Those are mini GTs. It's a drawer full of M2s. Now these are more than one layer. Well, those are auto art, but several layers of cars. And then down here is a drawer of goodness. Some TLVs and other premium brands I have. But I don't always show them videos. There's a Hobby 64. Tarmac Works. So let me know if you guys like seeing stuff like this. I can bring out different stuff like this and videos too. If you guys want to see it. It's nice to get it out and take some pictures of. So happy collecting. And have an awesome day.